Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a special edition, a Sunday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. And it is not just any Sunday. Today is the most important day of the year. As far as our faith goes, it is Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday, whatever you want to call it. It is the day that we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ without without the resurrection I mean where would we be we would have no hope and I want to take you to that story just to kind of give you a, a, a refresher of, uh, of, of what that was like take a look at this Matthew chapter 28 beginning in verse 1 it says after the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb there was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and, going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you're looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen. Just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. Easter Sunday, it is a day of celebration. It is a day that we are, uh, are marking as being the lifeline for our faith. You know, the scripture tells us that if there was no resurrection, we would have no hope. Uh, if there was no resurrection, our preaching would be fruitless, it would be hopeless. And, and yet, it's the resurrection of Jesus that gives us that hope. There's an old song that we sing from time to time. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know who holds the future and life is worth the living just because he lives. Did you know that the resurrection of Jesus is not just a theological fact or a Bible story, but it's actually a historical fact that could be uh, uh, proven through accounts in history? It is a very well-documented fact. And this truth is what separates us from any other religion. Because Christianity is the only faith system by which the object of our worship actually rose from the dead. No other uh, religion can say that. No other faith system can say that. That's what sets us apart. That's what sets Jesus apart from any other object of worship. It's the fact that he is alive. And friend, I want you to know today that because Jesus overcame death, because he overcame the grave, he can also help me and you as we try to overcome those things that we face in our lives. And I know that those that are watching this, you're, some of you are really facing some things. And some of you, you're, you're facing some crisis times that uh, you never thought you'd ever have to go through. And I'm not here to depress you. In fact, I'm here to encourage you today that the one to whom you pray and the one to whom that you're trusting your life with and the one to whom that you are uh, trusting your circumstances with, Jesus Christ is alive today. And if he wasn't, then you would have no hope. It would be fruitless to pray. It would be fruitless to, uh, in fact, a waste of time to trust him. But because he's alive, and because he overcame death, I can overcome whatever it is I face because of Jesus Christ. So friends, I want to encourage you on this Easter Sunday. Jesus is alive, and that gives us hope. Jesus is living today, and that gives us a reason to go on. And you've got hope today through the risen Savior, Jesus Christ. And I thank God that I serve a God who's not dead, but a God who's very much alive. 
I pray you have a wonderful Easter Sunday. God bless you, and uh, we'll see you again soon. We love you. Take care. Bye-bye.